Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Natasha Brown. Jessica is off. Justice Kennedy was one of the longest serving justices in history. The 81 year old often cast the powerful swing vote in many cases. Eyewitness News reporter David Spun joins us now from our satellite center with more on Kennedy's retirement and who could possibly replace him. David? Yuki, this is big news that many Supreme Court watchers didn't even see coming today. It was rumored Justice Kennedy may step down this summer. Many news outlets even reported the court recessed for the summer with no retirement news. Then the news came down this afternoon. Justice Kennedy is done next month. During his 30 plus years on the Supreme Court, Justice Anthony Kennedy sided with both his conservative and liberal colleagues on the bench earning him the reputation as the court's swing vote. I hate that term. <laughs> it, 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 it has this visual image of these spatial gyrations. <laughs> uh, the, the, the cases swing, I don't. Kennedy, a moderate conservative, was seen as a consensus pick when President Ronald Reagan nominated him to the bench in 1987. It's popular with colleagues of all political persuasions. On the Second Amendment, prisoner rights and the Constitution of Obamacare, Kennedy sided with the conservatives, but on other issues, he sided with liberal colleagues. In 2015, Kennedy wrote the majority opinion on the case that legalized same-sex marriage, saying same-sex couples ask for equal dignity in the eyes of the law. The Constitution grants them that right. Are you ready to take the oath, Justice Wood? Last year, Justice Kennedy administered the oath to President Trump's first Supreme Court pick, Neil Gorsuch. With Kennedy's retirement, President Trump has the opportunity to nominate a more conservative justice, dramatically shifting the court to the right for years to come. And the president says he has a robust list of candidates to replace Kennedy. The search begins immediately. One possibility, Yuki and Natasha, Judge Thomas Hardiman, federal judge from right here in Pennsylvania, who is rumored to be one of two finalists for President Trump's first Supreme Court pick, back in January of last year. David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.